Hello YouTube. Once again, a video on the Dell Inspiron or Inspiron 1525. This time around is running Windows 10. Let's take a look. This particular laptop is powered by a 2.2 GHz Core 2 Duo T7500, 3 GB of RAM, Intel graphics, and a, you know, pretty stock 160 GB Western Digital Hard Drive. It's logging in now. Let's turn the brightness up a bit. There we go. And there we are, the Windows 10 desktop. As you can see, everything opens up reasonably quick. Let's open up Project Spartan. Let's go to YouTube. I said YouTube. Thank you very much. There we go. Um, let's see, let's let's get our big buck bunny on here. Of course we want an HD version. I think Windows Update is messing with us right now. Yeah, definitely. Everything's freezing up. <laughs> Freaking Windows Update, man. There we go. That's still in 360p. Let's put it up to 720. As you can see there, no drop frames. Perfectly smooth. So the operating system doesn't have, you know, that much overhead. Let's take a look at the resources. Yeah, the CPU is getting hammered by something. Yep. It's still beta software, so that's slightly buggy. But uh, yeah, it's uh, it's doing some Windows updates, so we're missing some uh, performance there. But as you can see, we've got a YouTube video going on. We're using about 1.4 gigs. Usually when you're just sitting at the desktop, it's using roughly one gig of three. There's just plenty of memory left to uh, do your basic things like web browsing and stuff this laptop can still do. Let's open up Virtual 13. There we go. Came reasonably quick for a hard drive. And there we are. T type response is excellent. No lag. As you can see there. Moving around Windows doesn't lag at all. So that's good. So pretty much when it's not doing updates, It 
it's pretty quick. I'm actually surprised uh, by the performance of this machine on Windows 10. Windows 7 and Vista were actually quite slow on this for some reason, but it's, uh, it's chugging along nicely. But uh, yeah, it's definitely doing updates. So at least we know where that uh, loud noise from the fans came from and all that CPU hammering. As far as hardware support goes, pretty much everything was out of the box as expected. It installed almost uh, all of the hardware automatically. I did force the Vista driver for a video on it because I don't like using Microsoft drivers. And I installed the Intel chipset driver and that was all I needed. Everything else was just straight out of the box, which is very nice. Right, let's shut her down. That should be a pretty nice impression on the Windows 10 Insider Preview on the Dell Inspiron 1525. So if yours doesn't have a Core 2 Duo or you know has a Pentium dual core or whatever, or even a Celeron single core, it might not run as well. But uh, this Core 2 Duo T7500 is definitely a, a great processor for this laptop. It's a great match. So that was my video on Windows 10 on the Dell Inspiron 1525. Hope you enjoyed this video. And if you want more videos like this, leave a comment.